Hi, I'm Ray Chambers, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to get you to start off using Python, basically. And uh, there'll be a number of things that I'm going to go over in this video. I'm going to go over strings, concatenation, and variables. So it should get you to grips with how you can output on the screen. So we're also going to talk about inputs and outputs. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Now, first thing we're going to do in this Python lesson is I'm just going to do something simple. All right, we're going to do what all programmers do when they first start off, and that is print hello world. Okay, now to test this, I'm using PyScriptor, and the version of Python I'm using is 3.10.2. Now, when you run this, when you press the play button at the top, so whatever environment you are coding in, you can do this. But when I press the play button at the top, so I'm just going to run this it outputs at the bottom of the screen so you can see it there all right now that's pretty straightforward if you want to get something to output on the screen you just print it so you can go print my name is Mr. Ray Chambers and then I'm going to put my full stop there uh, I'm going to press run again and you can see that's working down there now this is what is known as a string so whatever we put inside speech marks is called a string you can also work with numbers, but we'll do a little bit more with that in a future lesson. Uh, but as part of lesson one, we're going to create some strings. So the next thing we're going to do is you might want to ask a question. So I'm just going to hashtag this out. If you ever want to remove something in Python, you don't want it to be used by the program. You can often hashtag it out. And that's a very good way of uh, removing a line of code that you don't necessarily want to delete, but you want to keep it there just in case. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use something called a variable. Now, a variable is like a data store. It's like a, a little box for you to hold your piece of information in. So you can have variables for anything, but you've got to remember to give it a name that is useful. For example, uh, if I'm going to store my name, I would say name equals chambers okay and then all I need to do is go print and name and if I was to run that it's going to print out my name all right so that's pretty straightforward now when it gets a bit more complicated I could say a uh, video game uh, actually we're gonna say uh, TV show equals Buffy all right and um, we're going to say print TV show. Notice that I'm not printing out the string. I'm using the placeholder. I'm using the variable that contains that information. So when I run it, you can see it prints Ray Chambers and Buffy. All right. Now, if you want to practice that a little bit, you can pause this video at this point. All right. Just straightforward things there. Now, when it gets a little bit more complicated, what you might want to do is start getting your program to get some user input from somebody. So again, I'm going to hashtag these out because I don't need them anymore, okay? And this time, so, so far I've taught you about strings, we've done variables, okay? And we've done outputs, that's what the print is for. You might want to join two strings together, okay? So I might, I'm going to leave this as it is. I've got my t TV show and my name there, okay? They're my two variables. What I could do is join those together by going print, all right, name. Actually, I'm going to say hello. Put a space there. The reason why I'm doing that will make sense in a minute plus name, plus hello. So that would say hello Ray Chambers. So if I was to run that, in fact, I'm gonna put full stop on the end of this. If I was to run that, that would say hello Ray Chambers, all right? Now, that's fairly straightforward, but what if I wanted to continue that sentence? Hello Ray Chambers, your Favorite show is plus TV show. Now watch, if I run that now, 
Hello, Ray Chambers. Your favorite show is Buffy. Again, if I want anything after that, what I can do is do a full stop there. Notice each time I join the string together, I, each part of the string is open and closed by speech marks. That's really important to remember that because sometimes you may get a syntax error and notice when I run it this time, I'm getting an error because I've left out my speech mark. So I'm going to put that back in now. There we go. All right. So that there is an example of concatenation. All right. So we've learned a few skills already. We've learned how to store information into a variable. You use a single equals if you want to store something in a variable. And that will be important later on through these lessons as we keep going forward, all right? Single equals is an assignment. So we are assigning the value Ray Chambers into name, Buffy into TV show, and we're joining that together here. Now, I'm guessing you want to try and get some user input. Well, this is the part where what we're going to do is we're going to say, Let's get rid of these. I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. All right. So we're going to say name equals input. What is your name? Okay. We're going to say TV show equals input. What is your favorite TV show? Now notice because I've commented this out, it's not going to work. This time when I say name equals input, what is your name? And TV show, what is your favorite TV show? The information that is typed in each time this is ran will be placed into these variables here. So let me run it. What is your name? Chambers. And what is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I love the old ones, all right? So uh, if I click on OK, you can see the information that I typed in has now been passed into that, all right? Now, one challenge that I get a lot of my students to do is I get them to create stories. So what you could say is uh, there were three bad wolves. So you could say wolf1 equals input. What is the... name of the first bad wolf okay and I could do wolf 2 equals input oh I've got a spelling error there what is the name of the first pig I'm going to change that to pig pig one and so on. So you could actually use characters within fairy tales and get them to join it together as a string. It's a good activity to practice and you can create your stories by printing out on the line. Now something you might want to try, uh, I'm going to get rid of these, all right. Uh, right, and we're going to go Buffy again. You might want to get something to go on a new line. You'll notice I made a bit of an error there. I did do a forward slash. But if you do a backslash N, it will make your text go on different lines. So depending on how you want it to display on the screen, you can give it a shot. But that's kind of like an intro to programming, how to use a variable, how to use concatenation, how to use inputs and outputs, and how to get to basics with strings. We will be able to do more with strings to manipulate it later on, but this is a good introduction and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.